In this video, we'll look at the oxidation number for the iron here in this iron three oxalate. So when you look at this, there's no negative or positive sign after it. So the whole thing is a neutral compound and all the oxidation numbers, they're gonna add up to zero. So that's kind of important. If you can recognize that C2O4 is the oxalate ion and the whole thing has an ionic charge of two minus, you're almost there. Because if we have an ion, all the oxidation numbers they add up to the charge on the ion. So if you add up all these oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to this two minus. So we know that, then we can say three times two minus, since we have three oxalate ions. So the oxidation number adding all these up would have to be a negative six. Over here, we need a positive six to have everything add up to zero. So two times something gives us plus six, two times plus three, that'll give us a plus six. So the oxidation number on each iron atom, that's going to be plus three. Just a word about the way we write the signs. This is the oxalate ion and its ionic charge is two minus. The minus comes after the charge. When we're dealing with oxidation numbers, the sign comes before the charge. So for this compound here, this iron three oxalate, you do need to know the charge that the oxalate, the whole thing has an ionic charge of two minus. So we can use this rule to find the oxidation number on the iron. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for iron 3 oxalate. Thanks for watching.